In this video, I'll show you a lower cost option than a Tapcon. Tapcons are great for drilling into concrete and anchoring things that need to be held into a brick wall, a concrete wall. And they have serrated threads that really anchor in. These are called backer-ons. They're a bit cheaper than the Tapcons and they have a similar serrated edge. Now you won't find these screws in the same place that you'll find them where the Tapcons are. These are going to be where the flooring materials are, and these actually aren't advertised to go into concrete, but you'll see they work really well and anchor in just as good. This is a Tapcon bit. It's meant through drilling through concrete, and it works with the 3 16 Tapcons. This is a 3 16 Tapcon right here, and that doesn't mean that this bit is 3 16 So you need to use the bit that is for use with a 3 16 Tapcon, and this same size works with these cheaper screws. We're gonna be using these screws to hold up these bins, and a lot of these bins are filled with heavy nuts and bolts, so it needs to be held up very securely to the wall. So these go in pretty deep into that the concrete wall, but they're also countersunk, so it'll be flush whenever this sits up against the plastic. Just like we're working with Tapcons, we'll get this level, and then we'll mark out where all of our holes are. A masonry nail works really well as a center punch because these are hardened steel, so we can use that to mark out where the hole is. Now just drill in like you would with a normal Tapcon. The older design used a square bit, and I'm glad they updated it to a star. This grabs so much better. These star head screws are a little bit too small to fit in the hole. Once you tighten it up, it just spins, so I'll show you how to fix that. Here's one of the old style screws with the square head, and if I thread that in there, it works great with the standard 4 3 16 size drill bit. You put it in there, and then it really snugs up, even to the point where it starts camming out. With a slight modification to the masonry bit that took maybe only five minutes, I'll show you how the new screws work. With the new screw here, and with the hole that I just drilled with the modified drill bit, if I thread this in, once it gets to the end of travel, this really starts to snug up. All I did was took this on the grinding wheel and ground down the diameter a little bit so the hole that it drilled was smaller. These new screws are only about ten thousandths of an inch smaller than the old ones. That's about a sixty-fourth of an inch, which is really small. So what we're going to do is take a masonry bit like this and just grind a little bit off of that carbide so that the hole it drills is a little bit smaller. When we measure the difference between the old screw and the new screw, here's the old screw you can see with the square head. We measure it and it's about 190 to 195 thousandths. And then we measure the new one which has the star head. We measure that. That's measuring about 180 to 185. Then you measure the Tapcon, which is about 190 to 195, which is the same size as the old bit. So the old screws here, the ones with the square head and the Tapcons are the same size, and then the new ones are about 10,000 smaller, which is close to about 64th of an inch. And then your bit, and I'm measuring the carbide, which is doing the cutting, is about 170 thousandths. So with the new bit, you only have, here from 170, which is where this bit is, it's measuring to 180. So that's only 10 thousandths between the new screws and the bit. So that means you only got 10 thousandths of thread engagement, which is practically nothing. This caliper right now is actually open to ten thousandths and you probably can't even tell that it's open. Just got all of the screws in and with that modification to the drill bit these are working great. They really tighten up into the concrete wall and these are really secured to the concrete wall as well.